Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So are you ready to start your routine? So let's stretch, feel great with our yoga routine. So are you ready? Let's start. So let's lie down on your back. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths, keeping your legs bent or straight, depend how you feel. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. We're going to take a deep breath. Breathe in through your nose. Expand your whole rib cage and exhale to your mouth. Again, breathe in, breathe out, and again, breathe in, and breathe out, and just one more, and breathe out. Now we're going to close our mouth and we're going to take a couple of breaths, breathing in, out, breathing in and out through your nose. So let's go. Breathe in and out. Relax your shoulder. Relax your face. Let's go one more. Breathe in and out. We're going to Keep this deep, alone breath during the class. So let's start stretching your arms away and your heels, pushing them away, extending your arms at the maximum. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Now we're going to bend the knees, lift your feet, and we're going to squeeze the knees towards your tummy. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Now, from here, we're going to keep the hands on our knees and we're going to make a circle around. Let's go for five, releasing your legs. Four and three and two and just one more. Fantastic. Change the direction. We just go five. Feel the mobility of the leg and the hips. Let's go for three and two. And just one more, back to center. Drop your feet, keep your heels under your knees, keep the same with hips, knees, and feet. Keep your arms on the ground, let's go to the bridge, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, lift the pelvis, extend your thighs. Move your arms under your back, interlace your fingers, make sure that your arms are straight and you are resting your hands on the sides of the little fingers so your palms are facing towards your neck. Let's hold here, balancing the weight between right and left side. Press your big toes on the ground to engage more your feet, pressing them against the ground to engage your leg muscle. Let's hold for four breaths. Breathe in, and out. Let's go for the three, and out. Let's go two, out. and just one more, and out. We release the spine, we lift our feet, and we just squeeze them towards your tummy. Lift your head just to stretch your back. We take a deep breath, breathe in. And now we're going to move our hands under the knees. We're going to rock in backward and forward. Try to balance on your sit bones. Let's go one more time backwards. Remember when we are rolling backwards, if you feel pain or discomfort in your lower back, it's just a blanket or towel on your lower back. So let's go backwards. Let's go for four. Rolling on your back. Make sure that you really roll and you don't force your back and you don't go flat in the way down. Let's go one more, everybody. And we stay sitting. We keep our legs bent. If it's as far as comfortable, maybe you cannot put the feet on the ground. That's fine. Just, just keep the heels, okay? Now we're going to lift the arms straight our back. We're going to breathe in, rocking backwards halfway. We take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Raise up. And let's keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for eight and up. Let's go for seven and up. Let's go for six and up. Let's go for five and up. Let's go for four. Feeling the tension in your tummy, it's important to strengthen our abs. Let's go two. Well done. And just one more. 
fantastic. We raise our torso, we push our feet down. Imagine that you want to stand up. We take a full breath here, stretching at the maximum. Breathe in and out. Drop your arms, extend your left leg, bend the right knee, pull the knee close to your tummy. Use your right hand at the back with your fingertips and bend your elbow to push your pelvis forward and stretch your back. It's important that we turn with the back straight to get the main benefits of the twisting position. Now we're going to hug the knee and we're going to turn to us to the right. Be careful that you are not stretching like that because that doesn't really help us. So the hand is to help us to keep the back straight. We turn, we move our face backwards, washing our right shoulder. Let's go for a breath. Breathe in and get your tummy and breathe out. Let's go for three and out. Let's go for two and out. And just one more and out. Fantastic. We come back. We're going to drop the knee on the side. I'm just going to turn around in this part, okay? So you can see me. So one leg straight, the other one, the heel as close as you can. In case that your knee is a little bit higher and you feel pressure on your knee, you can place a block or a pillow under your thigh or you can hold your knee just to support. Make sure that you don't have pain neither in your hip or in your knee. Let's go forward, Ben. If you cannot reach your foot, don't worry. We're going to bend the knee to allow us to go down. And we're just going to hold here for four. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three. Out. Let's go two. Out. And just one more. Now raise your torso, reaching up. We bend the knee and we're gonna change, bend the left leg with your hand at the back, straight your back, we turn toes to the left, lift your chest and we hold here for four and out. Let's go for three, feel it until your neck. Let's go for two, really lift your chest bone, open your chest as well. Just one more breath in. And now we release, we drop the knee onto Janur Sisasana. Move the heel closer. Again, if your knee doesn't go too low, don't worry. As far as you can, you can always support the knee with something under or hold your knee. Lean forward. If we can go all the way down, bend your knee to don't strain your muscles. You can hold your foot or just raise your hands on the ground. Let's hold here for four. And now. let's go for three. And out. Make sure that you don't pull your muscles so as far as it feels good. Just one more. And out. Raise your torso, everybody. Reaching up. Fantastic. Now we're going to move the legs together. I'm going to turn because I'm going to rock him backwards. Are you ready? We're going to inhale and exhale. We go all the way down. We lift our feet, extend our legs towards the ceiling. We're going to engage our tummy. You can keep them slightly bent if you feel it's a little bit a pulling sensation at the back of the legs. We're going to breathe in as we lower your right leg as far as comfortable for you. That's mean that your back is now arching. Exhale. We move the leg back again to the starting pose. Let's go left and up. Let's go right and up. Make sure that you really feel that tension in your tummy and are the tummy muscles who are kind of pulling the leg. Let's go for eight and up. Let's go for seven and up. Let's go six. Pulling from your tummy. Keep your tummy in. Let's go five up. Let's go four, up, let's go three, up. And make sure that you don't arch your back when the leg is coming, is moving down. Let's go the last one in this way. Now lift the head with your hands. If you don't feel comfy, you keep your head on the ground and we keep going. Right leg go down and up. Left and up. Right and up. Left and up. Keep your tummy engaged. Let's go for four. Up and three. Up and two. Up 
and the last one, and up. Bend your knees, squeeze the knees towards to your tummy, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. Drop your feet on the ground, let's repeat the bridge. Lift the pelvis, move your arms under your back, interlace your fingers, press your arms, open your chest, balance the weight between right and left side, and make sure that your big toes are pressing the ground to engage your lower leg muscle. Let's hold four breaths, breathe in, and breathe out. Let's go for three. And let's go two. And out. Just one more. And out. Release your hands and release your spine. Open your arms beside your shoulders. Open your legs onto the butterfly. And we're just going to rest here. As well, here is very common that we arch our back so we keep our tummy engaged. We open our chest. We hold here for four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go for two, and out, and just one more, and out. Now gently move your knees together, cross the right leg over the left thigh, and drop your knees towards the left side, as far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Move your face opposite direction, and we just hold here for four, and out. Let's go for three, and out. Let's go for two, and out. Just one more, and out. Back to center, we change our legs. Left leg cross over the right, drop toes to the right as far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold here for four. And let's go for three. And out. Let's go two. And just one more. And back to center and cross your legs. Lift your feet, move your hands under the knees, lift the head, and we're rocking backward, forward, sit, balance here yourself using your tummy muscles, feet off. We're gonna roll in backwards again a couple of times, okay? Remember, if it doesn't feel good in your lower back, just place a towel. So let's go for five, backwards, and we use our tummy to come up. Let's go for three, well done. Let's go for two, come up. And the last one, and oh, we come to the sitting pose, and we're going to cross our legs. So cross me your right leg at the front. We're going to turn again, but remember, we have to keep our back straight. So we straight up our back using our hands. If your knees are a little bit higher than your hips, engage your tummy and just hold the strength of the tummy to keep the legs in this position. We're gonna turn toes to the right side, make sure that your back is straight. Doesn't matter if your knees are here, make sure that your back, the most important, your back is straight. We turn toes to the right, we hold here for one full breath. Breathe in, lift your chest, and exhale. Back to center, let's turn other side. Use the back hand to lift the chest, Push your hips forward to straight your back. Turn completely towards the left. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Back to center. And we lean forward. If your knees are higher than your hips, hold your knees and just go here. Don't worry. It will take us time to release all the inner thigh muscles. So we go forward. If you don't need your hands under your knees, you move your arms to the front. Let's hold here for four. Keep breathing deep and long to release your muscles. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. And we raise our torso, reaching up, everybody. 
Fantastic. We're going to extend the right leg. We bend the left knee. We drop. Remember this position we just did before. Again, if you cannot stretch your back, that you feel that your pelvis is tilting, bend your knee so the pelvis move forward and you can stretch your back. Here we're going to turn toes first to the left side, so toes to the knee. One more time, use your hand to stretch your back, lift your chest. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for the three. And two. And just one more. Back to center. We turn towards to the other side. Lift your chest. Breathe in. And out. You can bend your knee to allow your back to keep it straight. Let's go for three. And two, and just one more. All these exercises to give us mobility in the spine, stretch our back and spine muscles. Let's change the legs. So we're going to cross now the left leg at the front. Use your hands to stretch your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. We turn towards to the left side. Using the back hand to stretch your back. Lift your chest. Take a full breath. Breathe in. And out. Back to center, let's go to the other side, lift your chest, take a deep breath, breathe in, and out. Back to the starting pose, we lean forward, remember if your knees are here, hold your knees. And let's hold here for four breaths, breathe in, and out. Let's go for three, and out. Let's go two. And out. And just one more. And out. Gently raise your torso. Fantastic. Now we're going to extend the left leg. We drag the heel closer. It's possible that our knee is here because we don't have too much flexibility in the inner thigh. Don't worry. You can place a block or a pillow under your thigh or you can hold your knee. Okay? We're going to turn towards to the Right side, lift your chest, use the back hand to straight your back, and also you can bend your knee to help it to straight more your back. Let's hold for four. And three. And two. And just one more. Back to center, we turn other side. Lift your chest, stretch your back. Let's hold for four. And three. Two. And just one more. It feels fantastic, everybody. Simple, everybody. You just need to... Little by little, we bring more awareness into our body. The important is that every day we do this 20 minutes, 10 minutes, and the mobility, the flexibility will be improving. Let's finish this class. Hands prayer position. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out through your mouth. Exaggerate and drop your arms. Again, breathe in. And out. Just one more. Breathe in. And uh, well done. It's great to do something for our body. Fantastic. Thank you for join me, joining me. And we'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. That will help us a lot. Like our videos. Leave us an emoji. And share with your friends. Thank you. My name is Fabi from Sacred Body Studio.